Hello, my name is Valerie Mervin, and I am the CCPN administrator working with Pastor Bruce Zachary and Miles De Benedictus. And I'm here today, um, we're gonna have a little discussion. And I just wanna share with you, I'm just really excited to be a part of CCPN and what's going on, what God has in store for them. And I've been able to work with some of you mentors and planners, and it's just been great to see what's going on all over the world. Um, pretty exciting. So thank you, and I'd like to ask a few questions, if I may. Um, let me start with, by the fact that I came in about four or five months ago, I'm not uh, privy to all that went on in initiating the movement with CCPN. So can you tell me where it all started? Yeah, first, I just want to say thank you to you, Valerie, for all the work that you've been doing. I think you've been helping a lot with the Church Planting Network and where it's going, and I'm sure that um, the mentors and planters that you've been working for appreciate it as well. So uh, just thank you for being a part of it. It really is amazing to see what has come about over the last couple of years, few years really, and to see that we're at the point that we are where we, we need someone like yourself to help make this a reality on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's just a blessing to see. And, and as I look back at how this has all come about, it really is uh, just continually seeing God's hand in it and seeing that he, he's providential in what he wants to do within each of our lives, but then in the greater work. And so to see how um, just some conversations that have happened between a number of different Calvary Chapel pastors over the last several years have brought us to this point. And, and then just what appeared at a moment to maybe be like a happenstance connection, and, and really when you look back at it now, you see how God has brought things together to the point where, you know, we've had a number of different people within Calvary Chapel, pastors that are in various locations around the nation and the world, and, you know, really names that I've heard before. But then when you start to get connected and you find out we have a similar passion, we have a desire to see the kingdom of God grow, we have a desire to see churches planted, and knowing that there are people that are out there, guys who are out there, who are wanting to be a part of the work and not really knowing how to be a part of that. So what really began as um, just an open door, if you will, on the internet saying, hey, we're here and we're interested in, in helping give some information about church planting has grown over the last two or three years to become what it is today. And then, you know, over the time, as I was connected with guys like Daniel Fusco within the Calvary Chapel movement, who originally started a website that was just a blog and was putting articles up there about church planting, and then he asked me to be involved with it and, and help develop that website, and then other people started to come to be a part of it. Chuck Musselwhite, who's also a Calvary pastor, and Kellen Criswell, and then uh, I don't even know where it originally happened, but I heard your name come up, Bruce, and <laughs> how Bruce was putting together this church planting manual and wanted to get together with a group of Calvary pastors to talk about it. And one thing led to another, and, and then at the pastor's conference two, three years ago now, um, all this, these loose ends started to come together to what it is now. So it's really phenomenal to see where we're at at this point. So can you tell me, give me a little more information on where we're at? Sure. Currently? And I just want to affirm as well as Miles did, Valerie, it's just been such a blessing having you involved. I've been privileged to work with you for years, and, and you're so capable and so competent, such a gifted administrator. And as the church planting network has grown, that need to establish greater infrastructure, and, and we're just grateful as directors for your involvement. And I know the guys who are involved are going to be exceptionally grateful to work with you. Well, uh, in approximately 16 months, we currently have almost 500 people involved in the network. There's about 350 prospective planters. There's 150 Calvary Chapel pastors serving as mentors. Uh, we use the Church Planting Network training manual, uh, the Church Planter training manual, as a resource to give guys an understanding of uh, who should plant a Calvary Chapel, uh, what Calvary Chapel is all about, why we need to plant churches, how, some best practices, and some really practical lessons and, and some fundamental teaching tools to equip guys to be more effective church planters. And so today, we have seen almost 500 guys involved, and we are blessed to say that at the end of one year, we saw over 40 Calvary chapels started that are now having weekend services that are meeting independently, healthy churches, and that's exciting because we realize that, in essence, it's the tip of the iceberg of what God is doing. And so today, we're excited, and we think as 
uh, we continue that it's going to be even better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with that, where do you see us going from here? Well, I would say aside from um, seeing more churches planted and uh, more uh, celebration of those plants going on throughout the church planting network, I think that what we're seeing happen right now is that the, the vision is continuing to uh, infiltrate, if you will, a lot of other places. I think there's more and more people who are recognizing that, um, number one, there are potential planters out there that are saying, I'm interested in planting churches. But there are a lot of Calvary Chapel pastors who they've had a heart to mentor and disciple and raise up church planters, but didn't necessarily have the railroad, if you will, to go down it. And I think for the first time, they're starting to see that there are people who've, who've thought through it and who have put some, uh, some real clear, at least, steps in place to help them move in that direction. So I think in the, the near term, we're just going to see a, a continued move of that vision spread out. And just doors are opening in, in a great way. I mean, we're now, uh, we now have a class that's being taught at the Calvary Chapel Bible College in Marietta that is, you know, taking exactly what we're talking about in the network and sharing with students there about church planting, and we have people there that are passionate about it. And then uh, we're having conferences and regional meetings come together, and maybe you can share a little bit about some of the things that are happening with those. Yeah, one of the things that's really exciting is, is uh, as you contemplate the idea of the pillars that make a, a church planting network, the ability to recruit planters, prospective planters, the ability to recruit mentors, and we've seen an incredible influx, uh, inflow of people getting involved already. Mm -hmm. And that's just going to continue to expand. And we feel that we have a, an effective resource to train the people. As you got to hear Pastor Steve share in an earlier interview about the effectiveness of church planner training manual. And we have an abundance of resources available on the site. So we've got the capacity to train. We're continuing to develop the infrastructure to ensure the training takes place. And then as these churches are planted, we're also creating resources to focus on the coaching element. Once guys have gone out and launched, to continue to provide relational support, to provide that coaching, especially during the first two years of the coaching and the launching experience. So we want to ensure that those elements are now all in place. So as we develop that regional support, the infrastructure, we have the ability to provide services and resources for more in our movement and beyond. And as uh, Pastor Miles was alluding to, we already have 11 regional conferences uh, scheduled for this year, not only in the United States, but internationally. And for the first time, we're going to have a multi-day CCPN conference that's being held at Calvary Costa Mesa. Our first conference took place in October 2012, and that was really the birth of CCPN in its current form. And that took place at Twin Peaks, and it was a wonderful gathering. But this year, uh, at Calvary Costa Mesa, we expect it to be an extensive and expanded opportunity to promote and, and make this ministry known within our movement. We've been blessed that Pastor Brian Broderson will be speaking about spiritual empowerment. Pastor Skip Heitzig will be speaking to uh, the issue of how to train church planters to teach the Bible effectively. Pastor Lloyd Poley of Calvary mm -hmm. Chapel, Old Bridge in New Jersey, will be coming out to talk to us about how to make disciples, not just converts, but how to make disciples. Uh, we're also blessed to hear from Pastor Tom Stipe, one of the pillars in the Calvary Chapel movement, about what Calvary Chapel is all about, the philosophy of ministry, and what makes us distinct in terms of our core values and DNA. And we understand that Pastor Bob Coy from Fort Lauderdale is likely to come out to talk to us about evangelism. And so these are, are some incredibly dynamic and gifted speakers speaking to the issue in our movement. So we're excited to see the mm -hmm. future and we're looking forward to being involved with you and, and continuing to grow together and, and looking forward to serving with you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. I mean, it's really exciting to receive the update and I feel privileged to be part of this and just see what God is doing and the new work throughout the United States and as well as around the, uh, the world. Thank you for watching and we look forward to serving together with you. <laughs>